We have already introduced to the concept of pointers in our previous lecture. In this lecture, we are going to demonstrate the working of pointers by writing a computer program. So let's get started. So this is a program pointer.c already created. Okay. Now in this program, in line number seven and line number eight, if you can see, I have created, I've defined two variables, a and b. A is a variable of integer type and it is storing the value five. B is the variable. Now the character type, it is storing the character x. Now if I want to display the content of this variable a and b, I just need to provide the name of these variables. Whenever you are supposed to display the content of a variable, you just provide the name. To display the content of a, I'll write printf a equals to percentage d because percentage d is the format specifier for integer and then I'll just write comma a. a is the name of the variable. By giving a, it will print the content of a which is 5. Okay, it should print 5 and then I'll just write printf b equals to percentage c because percentage c is the format specifier for character and I give comma and I provide the name of the variable. Name of the variable here is b. b would print the character x. So this is how you print the content by giving the variable name. Okay, variable name will help you to get the content. Now let's try to display the address of these variables a and b because a and b would be stored in the memory. It will occupy some space. So it will have a unique address. So to display the address of a variable, you have to use this operator called as ampersand also called as address of operator. To display the address, you have to use the format specifier percentage p. By using the percentage p format specifier, you will get the address displayed in the hexadecimal notation. To get the address of a, I'll write printf Okay, ampersand a equals to percentage p because I'd like to print the address. Okay, percentage p is the format specifier for displaying the address. And I'll get the address by writing ampersand ampersand a. That will get me the address of a. Similarly, I'll write printf ampersand b equals to percentage p. Okay, now I'm trying to get the address of b. So I'll write comma ampersand b. Ampersand b will give me the address of b. Okay, so address of a and address of b is printed here. Okay. So now let's try to create a pointer to integer variable a and the character variable b. Now how do you create a pointer is very simple. You have to first of all write the data type. Okay. And then you write star and the pointer variable name. And then you give a semicolon. So first of all, I would like to create the pointer to variable a. So I'll have to create the pointer of type integer. So data type is integer int star p a. Let this be the pointer to integer. So this is a pointer to integer. Okay. So similarly, I can create the pointer to the character by writing char star p b. So this is the pointer to character. Okay. So these are the pointer variables that is created. Now I'll have to make sure that this pointer variable p a is catching hold the address of the variable a. So how do I make p a store the address of a? So it's very simple. I'll write p a is equals to ampersand a. So ampersand a is nothing but address of a that will be stored in p a. So now p a would be pointing to a. p a is as good as the address of a. Similarly, how do I make p b hold the address of b? So I'll just write p b is a pointer variable is equals to ampersand b. It will hold the address of b. So now if you can recall p b is a pointer to the character and p a is a pointer to the integer. Now this pointer is holding something. It is holding the content. The content of this pointer is nothing but the address of a variable. Okay. P a, the content of p a is the address of a and the content of p b is the address of b. Now as already discussed, the content of the pointer variable is the address. So I have to use the percentage p format specifier to display the content of these variables p a and p b. So I'll just write printf content of p a equals to percentage p because content of a pointer is the address. So I'll just write p a. So the variable name is p a and then I'll write content of p b is nothing but percentage p and then I have to replace this p a by p b. Okay, this will display the content of p a and p b. Content of p a and p b is nothing but the address of a and address of b respectively. Okay, now I, how do I display the address of the pointer variable? Now pointer is also a variable. Now I'd like to display the address of pointer variable not the content. So to display the address of pointer variable, I can use the ampersand operator. That is the address of operator. So I'll just write printf address of p a equals to percentage p because the address is nothing but printed using percentage p. Now what is the address of p a? You simply write ampersand p a. This is the address of the pointer. 
okay similarly now you're supposed to print the address of pb so just copy and paste it here so you just write address of pb is percentage p and replace this pa by pb so you print the address of pb by writing m percent pb okay now this is done now the next part is how do you display the content of the variable using the pointer by using the pointer pa i would like to display the content of a that is 5 okay and by using pb i would like to display the content of b content of b is nothing but x so how do i print the content by using the pointer variable so i'll just write printf content of a using pa equals to i'll just write percentage d because the content of a is the integer value right so i'll just give a new line here and then how do i go to this uh, integer value 5 using pa i'll just write asterisk pa so asterisk pa will go to the address that pa is holding pa is holding the address of a it will go to that address and, and print the content inside that address inside that address the content is nothing but 5 so it will display the value 5 here okay so this percentage d will be replaced by 5 okay similarly you can display the content of b by using the pointer variable pb so you'll just write content of b using pb the pointer variable is pb is nothing but star p b now instead of percentage d here you have to write percentage c because the content there is the character content okay so it will print the character so now we are supposed to print the size of variable a and variable b so how do i print the size using the size of operator i'll just write printf size of a equals to percentage d okay size is an integer number i can also make it an unsigned int because size is always a positive number so i'll just write percentage u for unsigned int i'll just write size of a okay similarly to print the size of b i'll just copy this and paste it here now you just replace this a by b because i'm trying to find the size of b size of b is nothing but size of operator b okay this is how you print the size of a and size of b now finally we are supposed to print the size of the pointer variables we have already discussed in the previous lecture that size of the pointer variable is either 4 bytes or 8 bytes let's see what is the size in my system size of pa or like let's say pointer pa is how much the size of pointer pa is i'll just write size of pa okay similarly size of pointer pb pointer pb is nothing but size of pb so this is what we are supposed to do and this is our program now we have done with our program let's try to compile this and see if we are getting the correct output and let's try to visualize the same as well okay let's try to compile this code compilation is successful let's try to run this code and running this code we'll see this output wherein a is 5 b is x okay address of a is ending with 70c address of b is ending with 70b okay content of pa pa is the address of a so pa and address of a should be same so pa is ending with 70c and address of a is also the same okay similarly pb and address of b is same so pb is nothing but ending with 70b same as the address of b okay now what is the address of pa this is the address of the pointer variable ending with 700 what is the address of pb this is the address of the pointer variable pb it is ending with 6f8 and what is the content of a using pa the content of a is nothing but 5 using pa we have displayed the same content that is 5 it is as good as a which is 5 okay so content of a using pa is also 5 okay similarly the content of b using pb is x which is the content of b okay and what is the size of the variable a size of a a was integer size of a is 4 bytes what is the size of b size of b b was character b is 1 byte now what is the size of the pointer the size of the pointer pa is 8 bytes pointer to integer is also 8 bytes long pointer to character is also 8 byte long because my system is a 64 bit system so it is having the pointer as 64 bit long or 8 bytes long so the size of pointer is 8 bytes in both the cases pointer to integer as well as in pointer to character so that's all in this lecture in this lecture we have learned how to implement the pointers and how to display the address using the address of operator how to display the address of the pointer how to display the content that the pointer is pointing to how to display the content by using the variable name and all these things we have demonstrated and we have also seen the size of pointer in my system is 8 bytes that is equals to 64 bits in your system the size of pointer can be 4 bytes as well it, it depends upon the architecture of your computer so that's all in this lecture stay tuned